Yep, go ahead. All right, well, it was your Meredith. Our philosophy is that it's all about the fruit. It's about the vineyard. It's, it's, we're interested in making sure that the flavors expressed in the fruit come through in the wine, and we want to influence that as little as possible in the winemaking. Thus, the winemaking is as simple as possible. Um, we do all of our vineyard work by hand ourselves. The staff is me and Carol, and um, nature puts the flavor in the fruit. So the winemaking is simple. We wait for full ripeness. Full ripeness is 25 or 26 bricks. Um, wait, you have to wait for the acids to go down a little bit. And then uh, we do hire a crew to pick because you have to get the fruit off the vine in the morning when it's cool. Um, we, we crush, de-stem, and do all of our fermentations in, in tea bins, which hold about three quarters of a ton of fruit. It's a manual punch downs, fermentation. We do inoculate. We typically use D80 or D254. Um, it, typical total time on skins. Uh, depends on whether the fruit comes off on a foggy morning and is uh, temperatures in the mid 50s, then we'll do a two or three day cold soak before I inoculate. Um, if we pick on a warmer day, this 2006, it was picked, the must temperature was about 65 degrees. We only did about a 24 hour cold soak. It really wasn't cold soak because it was warm. Uh, inoculate sooner with that situation. Anyway, it's all in the tea bins, small fermenters, hand punch down. Total time on uh, on uh, skins is anywhere from say nine to twelve days. Uh, press at dryness. Don't do any extended maceration. Uh, typically, uh, have the wine in tank overnight just to get some of the gross solids out of it, straight to barrel where uh, malolactic occurs. Uh, in warmer years, malolactic goes a little sooner rather than later. Um, <coughs> 06 was typical. Malolactic finished in March. Uh, we had sulfur at that point. Then we leave the wine in barrel for about 18 months total, 18 to 20 months total. Uh, we typically finish the wine. Uh, every year prior to 2006, we did a light egg, light fining and then a couple of gravity racks to bottling tank and bottle unfiltered. Uh, two, 2006, we did not find. We just did two gravity racks and to bottle. Um, 2007, we did a, a light egg white fining. I just like the clarity that you get with egg white fining and, and you know a slight reduction in, in the astringency. And um, uh, so we typically bottle in May or June and release the wine in, in uh, October to our mailing list, and then the trade usually gets it in January. So that's the wine making in a nutshell.